Hey, Rich Bester, thanks very much. Let's get more on this now from the senators, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin, Republican John Barrasso. And Senator Barrasso, let me begin with you. Like Rich Bester, you're a medical doctor as well. Are you as confident these problems of the website can be fixed? Uh, I'm not, George. I'll tell you, as a doctor, I want to make sure that patients can actually get affordable, high-quality uh, care. The website was supposed to be the easy part of this. Uh, so I see actually this is just the tip of the iceberg of problems with bigger problems uh, to come. But the Democrats, I think, are at a point of high anxiety. Americans have been very skeptical about this health care law. But now, George, there's a lot of anger about the wasted taxpayer dollars uh, on this website, about all of the waivers that the president has given to business, to unions, to members of Congress, the fact that nobody who works at the White House is going to have to sign up uh, on the exchanges. And now Americans are saying, wait a minute, why do I have to pay a fine if I don't sign up? None of these other what? people seem to have the same problem. One of the Democrats who supports the law but also is worried about the fact that the website isn't working is Senator Joe Manchin. He's with us as well, Democrat of West Virginia. Senator, you're the only Democrat who's called for a full year delay in the implementation of the, man of the, uh, of the, the penalty uh, for the individual mandate. Are you willing to hold off on that if the White House actually meets this deadline of the end of November to fix the website problems? George, I've been working in a bipartisan manner with Senator Johnny Isaacson and trying to put a coalition together of bipartisan senators, which basically says the penalty, the fine of $95 will not be into effect until January 2015. At that time, the fine will be $325. It'll still induce people to get involved, but it'll also give us a time to transition in. And I think we need that transition period to work out the things. And we identified a lot of problems, there's a lot of glitches. When I was governor, we had glitches getting up our claims with Medicaid claims uh, uh, program started. We worked through it, and we got a pro uh, uh, we got a system now that's about of a model uh, of the country. So we know it can be done, but we've got to work together. There's a lot of good things that help a lot of West Virginians in the bill. If we all work towards fixing something, and if we just can't fix it, then you make a concerted effort to make the changes. But we need that transition period, and I think this is so a good So you're for the one-year uh, for the one year delay no matter what. So far, not a lot of Democrats have signed on. But Senator Barras, I want to take that to you because, you know, a lot of Democrats believe that uh, you and your colleagues are actually rooting for the program to fail. What do you say to a constituent when they come to you and say, we want help signing up for Obamacare? Well, uh, and folks in my office are going to help uh, any citizen with anything uh, every way that we can. Uh, I will tell you, what I want is affordable care for American citizens. And in my home state of Wyoming and in Joe's home state of West Virginia, we see that the rates are actually going to be higher. The New York Times front page story the other day said exactly that, that the law has failed to provide affordable care and coverage uh, in rural America. So that is a real problem. The president made promises that this was going to be cheaper than your cell phone bill, easier to use than Amazon, and you could keep your doctor. People all across the country, George, are seeing that's just not true. Secretary Sibeli is Health and Human Services Secretary Health Sibeli, Kathleen Sibeli, is going to be facing some tough questions on Capitol Hill uh, this week. Senator Brass, you've already called on her to resign. Here was her response. The majority of people calling for me to resign, I would say, are people who I don't work for and who do not want this program to work in the first place. Senator Manchin, do you think Kathleen Sebelius should keep her job? I think Kathleen was successful as an insurance commissioner in Kansas. She was a successful governor working with both sides of the aisle. She's very capable, capable of bringing people together. I think it was unfortunate to comment the way it, was, the way it came out. Uh, but with that being said, I'm not so asking do you think she for delay in the of, job? of this law. I think she should stay, and I think she will get the job done, and I think she needs to bring people around her, and I think she can do that. We've got to move forward. If you want to kill the program and you start making all these changes, that would kill the program. All we're asking for is don't have the fine go into place. Get market-driven. Get market-driven products. Make sure you can entice and through the incentives of getting young people that are healthy to join into this. We are a consumer nation. We have the great entrepreneurs. We can make this happen, but we've all got to be on the same team right now, which is Team America, to make things happen. Senator Bruss, are you willing to work with Senator Manchin on something like that? Of course, you were against the law from the start, but it is now the law of the land. Are you willing to work with him and other Democrats on trying to figure out ways to get it fixed? Well, Joe Manchin and I have co-sponsored a number of pieces of legislation about American energy. We continue uh, to work together and, and are good friends. 
what he is proposing is a good idea because one is it's a law it's not just the president maybe waving his magic wand and saying well this doesn't apply here we'll give these people uh, waivers we'll let other people out of it so I, I encourage senator Manchin. but again that's just the first step people are getting hit with sticker shock you know we've had more people since october first george get letters of denial where they've been law they're losing the insurance that they have than have been people that have actually been able to sign up for the obama health care law and you talk about secretary sebelius and her comments she's already as of saturday night live last night the laughing stock of america so she's lost considerable credibility and even when she says hey things are going better uh, with the exchanges i will tell you just on friday in washington state 8,000 people because the state exchange wasn't coordinated with the federal database. 8,000 people were told they were going to get a higher subsidy than they're actually going to get. Now they're going to have to go back to all of those people and say, no, you're going to even pay more out of your own pocket than you thought you were going Senator to. Senator Manchin, you get the last word. Are you seeing any indication from anyone in the administration that they are willing to go along with some sort of delay? I'm not sure. I haven't spoke the detail with them, but I can tell you, if we have a bipartisan group, which we've had before, when they shut down to get it back open, we had seven Republicans, six Democrats, and an independent. George, nobody should be forced to buy a, a, a policy that costs more than what they had and is inferior to what they had. Those things have to be worked out. The new markets that we're opening up basically is going to be good, but it has to be affordable. You have to work through this. The transition period of one year is very reasonable and doable, and the fines don't go in effect until 2015. We're still working through it. If you delay it, you're never going to have to really identify the problems and work them out. If you work through this through a transition period, I think you can. Uh, John in Wyoming and me in West Virginia, we have a lot of people that benefited so far, but we have more people that need to have affordable health care. It shouldn't be unaffordable or be onerous to them. We've got to work this out. John is very knowledgeable. He's a good friend of mine. We can work together as Democrats and Republicans because we truly are Americans first. That's what we have to.